This is an overview of how the work plane works in Modo. So the first thing I want to show you is this little widget here in the bottom left hand corner with the uh, X, Y and Z axes. Now this has this little grey square overlay which um, shows you how the work plane is oriented. So as it flips in the 3D viewport when I tumble, it also flips on the little widget. This is um, useful if you have the work plane hidden. So I'm just going to quickly hide the work plane in 3D view. As you can see on the widget when I tumble, it shows you how the work plane is oriented. Quickly uh, bring the work plane back. The next thing I want to talk about is work plane positioning. In Modo, it's quite easy to find yourself in a situation where the work plane is no longer um, positioned at the uh, world center. So if you draw out a cube in the 3D viewport and tumble around, you'll see that it's sort of floating in the air. And then a few seconds later, you might draw out another cube and find that this one's on the ground. So for beginners, this can be um, extremely frustrating behavior, but actually it's quite easy to position where the work plane goes. So if you find yourself in this situation where the work plane is uh, no longer positioned at the world origin, you can uh, you can reset it and move it around using the page up and page down keys. So the first time you press the key, either page up or page down, it's going to place the work plane at the world center, um, orientated whichever way um, it was when you hit the keyboard shortcut. And at this point the work plane is locked. It no longer flips as you tumble the view. Now you can move it up and down using the page up and page down keys. So if you go page up, you can see it moves the work plane up and uh, page down moves it down. Now there is one gotcha about this uh, offset behavior. If you reset the work plane to its default behavior using the end key and you can see it's sort of flipping back to normal and then you go back into um, the page up page down mode or if you try and align the work plane to some geometry which we'll talk about in a bit it remembers the offset. So if I hit page down again you can see this time is not put it at the origin. It's remembered the offset from before. So what you have to do is um, use the page up key to put it back in the center. And now if you hit end to reset to the default behavior and um, go back into page up page down mode, this time when you hit those keys it will put it back to the origin. Another thing you can do when the uh, work plane is locked into a certain position is um, you can flip it along the X, Y and Z axes. The way you do that is um, by using the keyboard shortcuts shift page up and shift page down. So with the work plane locked in position, if I go shift page up, you can see it flips it up. And if I go shift page up again, it looks as if it's reset it, but if you keep your eye on the widget in the bottom uh, left hand corner you can see that now the Y axis is pointing down so to properly reset the work plane what you need to do is to hit shift page up two more times now um, from this position you can go shift page down and this time it's uh, rotated it in the other axes and again to reset it you've got to go shift page down shift page down shift page down and from here you can um, hit the end key to release the work plane to its default behavior Another way of controlling the work plane is uh, by aligning it and moving it to geometry. So if I quickly uh, make a quad ball and um, drop the tool, what you can do is uh, you don't even need to make a selection. Simply highlight a uh, piece of geometry and then hit the home key on the keyboard and you'll find that the work plane moves and aligns right to um, that position. Now just as before you can offset it from that position using page up and page down but again one thing to remember is if you've offset the uh, work plane this way and then you move it or you can reset it using end and then try and align it to another piece of geometry the offset will be remembered so the only way that you can reset that offset in the same session is by actually physically moving it back down again. Um, hit the end key to reset that um, another way of uh, aligning the work plane to a piece of geometry is by you actually making a selection. So um, if you select a polygon and uh, then go shift home, it will align the work plane to that selection. Let's reset the work plane. Um, another thing you might want to do is actually just move the work plane to a certain um, piece of geometry but without actually aligning it. So how would you do that? Well, if you select the um, piece of geometry, go shift home, you'll see that it's brought the work plane up and it's also oriented it to the normal of uh, that edge 
but it's really simple to quickly reset the rotation back to zero. If you hit Shift N to bring up the work plane properties, just uh, make sure you zero out all the angles, and there you have it. You've actually you've got the work plane in the position you want and back to the regular orientation. Another way you can align the work plane is um, you can align it to the view, so any arbitrary angle that you have your viewport set to, um, if you hit Control and Home, it will align the work plane to that particular view, and of course you can use the page up and uh, page down keys to move it around, um, and of course shift page up and shift page down to uh, flip the orientation. Um, Finally, you might want to know how to quickly show and hide the work plane. Um, there's two ways of doing this. Uh, the first one is to use the asterisk key on the numeric keypad. Um, that quickly toggles the work plane on and off. And the other way is to use the Control one Pi menu. And uh, that will show and hide both the grid and the work plane. Um, it's worth noting, of course, that when the work plane is hidden, the widget will still show you which uh, orientation it's in. Okay. I hope you found this uh, tutorial useful and thank you very much for watching.